Welcome back. This is Dr. Chen Sung, and today is Tuesday at 12.35 maybe. Uh, last week I couldn't make my video. We had had about 20 plus inches of snow here and uh, couldn't make it to the office. So today we're going to talk about the gallbladder. This little organ um, that sits right under your liver, kind of right in here on the right side. I know this is kind of reversed, but uh, your liver and sits on the right side there. Uh, it's a very important little organ that is in, um, um, utilized to store uh, bile. So the bile from the liver will dump into the gallbladder and when necessary, the gallbladder will contract when you have your meals and so forth, and will flush the biles to break down fats, okay? So, the gallbladder will hold bile released from the liver. From the, from, um, it will also dump into the small intestine for the digestion of uh, fats. Um, it's responsible for fat emulsification, basically, right? So when you have your fatty meal, your gallbladder will contract, and bile will be dumped into the small intestine to help break down the fats. Uh, it is assisted with uh, some of the acids from the stomach and the pancreatic enzymes uh, to break down the foods. Okay? Uh, the bile basically is like a detergent, right? So if you use soap and you have something greasy to wash, the bile is like the detergent and you can wash out the fats or break down the fats. So it's very important for emulsification and breakdown and the utilization of those fatty acids to build your cells, your, your brain, and your body, and so forth. So breaking down your fats for utilization is very important. Now, the gallbladder has uh, many symptoms that can occur with it, right? Um, so I'm going to read them to you. That way I don't forget it, okay? So with the gallbladder, you might have constipation right? Indigestion or fullness uh, lasting two to four hours after eating. Pain and tenderness under the rib cage. okay? Uh, you might have greasy food or high fat foods that cause distress. Lower abdominal gas and bloating. And another good one is uh, a bitter metallic taste in your mouth. Uh, oftentimes people don't realize they have this taste in their mouth. They don't know where it's coming from. It can be your gallbladder because it's kind of like this bitter metallic taste. Uh, burpy, fishy taste after consuming oils or fish oils. Uh, difficulty losing weight. Um, unexplained itchiness of the skin. So you have this itchiness in your skin and you don't know where it's coming from. It may be because of the detox pathways that are blocked and the gallbladder. Um, uh, you, a yellow cast in your eyes, a little tinge of yellow in your eyes. Your stool color will alternate colors from clay color to normal brown, right? So it'll be kind of whitish and then brown. So it'll kind of go flip-flop back and forth a little bit. Uh, you can have reddening of your skin or your palms. Um, you can cause dry, flaky skin and hair. Um, and also gallstones and gallbladder attacks where you have pain under that rib. Uh, sometimes it will migrate into that right shoulder. Um, when you have your gallbladder attack. Uh, sometimes it will create headaches also. So look out for these symptoms because uh, you may have a gallbladder issue and you don't know about it. So it's very important to kind of be cognizant of your uh, symptoms. What I'm going to do is, this is what we call a metabolic assessment form. This is a form that I use on every single patient that walks in the door because it goes through all the different uh, signs and symptoms of different um, uh, metabolic issues. So if you look at category 7 on this form, and I'm going to post a link for this uh, on the Facebook uh, video underneath, okay? So look at it, and look at category number 7 here, and you can check off whatever symptoms you may have in that section that may indicate that you have a gallbladder issue. So it's very important to do those types of things, okay? What I find is a lot of people, mostly women, uh, maybe after the birth of a child, may have a gallbladder issue or gallbladder attack. And this can be due to estrogen surges or excess hormones that need to be cleared out. Or it can be because they have uh, a shift in their immune system and causes uh, a hypothyroid state or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. And it can create a sluggish gallbladder. 
And one of those main things that I find with women who have Hashimoto's is that they get their gallbladder removed because it becomes very sluggish, it's not functioning well, it's full of gallstones, uh, and they'll have it removed. But the underlying cause it may be that they have a, uh, an issue in terms of dumping out of the gallbladder, and they may not have the proper diet, um, so it creates a lot of habit. So when I talk about diet, I mean, you, you got to avoid all those things that are, you know, creating problems for you, right? Um, sometimes having too low fat a diet, or low fat diet can create problems. Uh, soy protein isolates can cause some problems. Uh, junk food, and especially the hydrogenated oils, that will create a lot of problems for your gallbladder, okay? Um, things that can help with the gallbladder is sometimes massage, massaging of your abdomen, uh, moist heat packs over the abdomen or right onto the gallbladder area, cruciferous vegetables, um, maybe some support with a gallbladder support. There's many companies that come out with gallbladder support, uh, which has a combination of different nutrients that can be very beneficial for that. Um, what's included in those supplements are typically uh, dandelion extract or dandelion root, uh, milk, thistle, uh, phospholipids, taurine, uh, ginger, and then it might have a combination of like beet, uh, peptidase, and lipase. So these things can be very beneficial in terms of helping the gallbladder uh, not be so sluggish and dump appropriately, okay? Other things that can help is vitamin D, K, A, right? Uh, a DHA, like a high DHA uh, type of fish oil. Um, bone broth can be very good and nourishing for that, and vegetable and green apples. So you can change your diet and get rid of the junk foods and the cheap oils out of your diet. And, uh, and I encourage you to take in good fats, um, maybe coconut oil and so forth to cook with. Uh, that might be better. So you need to be able to change your diet, look at your symptomatology, and figure out if you need a gallbladder support, right? And there's also different ways of doing gallbladder flushes or liver flushes. Uh, I would caution against doing that on your own. Uh, for some people who have large stones, it can block uh, the bile duct, so you have to be very careful and it can create some problems for some people and you'll end up in the emergency room. Um, so the first thing you should really do is look at your diet, clean it up, add in the good foods, uh, maybe consider a gallbladder support, um, and then uh, coffee enemas can be also very good for gallbladders. So uh, doing coffee enemas with uh, organic coffee beans. Um, and then holding as long as you can could help flush the area out gently um, and loosen up things for you, okay? So the gallbladder is very, very important. Don't get it removed if you don't have to get it removed. Try some of these natural alternatives prior to doing it because uh, it can save you an emergency room visit. Uh, it can save you removing the gallbladder. So it's very important to do that, okay? Uh, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. We're going to see you next Tuesday on the healthy side. Again, I'll post a link for this questionnaire uh, below the video. Uh, fill it out and see where you stand. And, um, you know, give a thumbs up if you like the video. And please share with uh, family friends. Uh, we like to give out the quality information. And if you want to go ahead and buy one of these gallbladder supports, you can call my office and we can uh, ship one out to you. It's 978-688-6999. Uh, Say you saw the video and you want something for your gallbladder. But I would suggest filling out this form, okay? Uh, to see if you actually have a gallbladder problem, okay? So we'll see you next week, all right?